and start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> and a loose football. But an alert 49er able to gain possession, so they will indeed hold on to the pigskin. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Second down, here's Garoppolo. Throw left side complete. That's Crawford. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And they're going to have a third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Four down, four down, check. Four down. Black 80. 80. 11, 11. There's Garoppolo to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They'll set up a throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Back to throw. And able to find Kirk complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Now Marshall. And he is met at the line of 
of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. That one good for 10 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up the first down. And he's taken down inside the 30. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw, and this is going to be incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. and the first play will be a field goal try. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And that'll be off the crossbar and out. It's short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. A complete out right to Jake Butt. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Six, six. Right, check, check. 59, 59. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Yes. On first down, Garoppolo. And that is intercepted. Or was it? 
Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. Garoppolo to try again on second down. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Third down, it's King, and he gets it down to the 32. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good, and that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Now, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. He finds an opening past the 40 and all the way up to the 45-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. 
Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Back to throw now on second and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, the good defensive position, able to affect the play. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. He'll drop to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Ruben Foster picks it, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 21, 21. And they'll go on the ground. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. The Niners on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoops all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Solomon Thomas able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. After the sack here, second and 11. They're going to look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. A minute 57 to go in this first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
He'll look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him there they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through i think if he comes back to the huddle he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble Shot couldn't connect. Jake Butt, the tight end, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So after the incompletion on first, now go, second and ten. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now Garoppolo looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. Allen has it, left side. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Four down, four down, check. Go ahead. Motion, motion, motion. 
Garoppolo looks to throw once more. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Flushed out right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. Well, that was excellent coverage right there. And he definitely did the right thing, showing that discretion is definitely the better part of Valor. Threw it away, preserved the opportunity to kick for a field goal. An excellent coverage. And right now, the human is controlling the defense. So good job, human. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. And after the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 13 seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. Over, 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 over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. They'll look to throw here. Going right side here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Cardinals! A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? To return it now, here's King. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah. the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Garoppolo now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play. But it didn't gain him any yardage. And on the ground they go with a running back. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. The Niners on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. Looking to throw, Garoppolo, and he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean... Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently, God, God. neither guy God, God. is immune. Well, they gave the 60-yarder a try, didn't make it, and now they're in a tough position defensively. This offense has it in midfield. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases right, like they were able to exploit right there. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end.
Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Finding room to the 20. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him. And he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Solomon Thomas in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here we go. Garoppolo on first down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Back to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. The kick by Carlson is good. And they take the lead here by a point, 10-9. to nine. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Give him eight on the play, and they're going to face a third down. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Niners on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. It's complete. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Black 80! They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The best offenses and the ones that win are ones that make adjustments. And right now, I think this team needs to open things up. for him in the middle third he couldn't catch it now third down trying to erase that deficit all at once one big shot he took it unfortunately for him incomplete possibly a turning point big play coming this is third and long Open man, and that's his tight end, Jake Bunt. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Garoppolo, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll run it now. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be third and ten. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Black 80! The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? One score down, here we go. 11, 11. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And Allen's got it. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Oh. 
And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They come out here in the eye. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, switch, switch. Yes. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Another shot from the one on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle, and he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. They give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So no gain on the play. They'll decline the penalty to not give him the down back. And were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there? Yeah, because possibly. I was. I definitely was. But as you noted, maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying, okay, we're comfortable where we are. 